Hey there, smart people. Your favorite Uncle Matt here with you. And in this video, you're going to get seven simple things you can do right now to overcome procrastination. This will help you master the art of staying more focused and motivated. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone looking to improve your productivity, this video is for you. Last month, I published a survey for my viewers asking, what is the single biggest obstacle you face as a student? Over a thousand of you responded. The results were eye-opening. Here's a screenshot of the actual survey. A whopping 43% of you said that procrastination is your biggest challenge. The next closest choice of focus and concentration was far behind at 25%. And yes, I'll be doing more videos on that topic too. So here are seven simple things you can do right away to help you overcome your problems with procrastination. While no single one of them is that big of a deal by itself, combining a few of them together can make a huge impact on your ultimate results. It's called synergy. That means the whole is greater than the sum of the individual parts. Here we go. Number one, set goals. One of the most important things you can do is set specific, measurable, and achievable goals. This will give you a clear understanding of what you want to achieve and help you stay focused. I strongly recommend you put them in writing. That helps you to realize and confront what you tell yourself you really want. Number two, make a schedule. Creating a schedule for your study time or anything else that's important to you, like exercise or practicing with an instrument and sticking to it will help you stay on track and eliminate procrastination. Something that people tend to leave out is to include breaks in your schedule. Including breaks will help you to avoid eventual burnout. Number three, find a study buddy. Studying with a friend or a study group can make the experience more enjoyable and help keep you motivated. You can keep each other accountable and motivate each other to reach your goals. Accountability is one of the absolute strongest ways to overcome procrastination. You see, if you're only available to yourself, you may let yourself off the hook too easily. But when you become accountable to others, you're more likely to accomplish your tasks. Next, use positive self-talk. This is far more powerful than you might think at first. It's important to keep a positive attitude and use positive self-talk when studying. Do your best to focus on what you've accomplished so far and what you can achieve in the future. That's far better than beating yourself up because of what you haven't done yet. Here's an easy one. Get enough sleep. The legendary football coach Vince Lombardi said this, fatigue makes cowards of us all. When you're tired, it creates a situation where you are more willing to give up easily. Making sure you get enough sleep is crucial for staying motivated and focused. Lack of sleep can lead to fatigue, which can make it harder to concentrate and get things done. Next, Reward yourself. Set up a reward system for yourself to stay motivated. This could be as simple as taking a break after an hour of studying or treating yourself to something you enjoy doing after a day of hard work or school. Be deliberate with your self rewards. Keep them special. Next, avoid distractions. This is a big one. Eliminate distractions such as spending time on social media, watching TV, or anything else that takes away from your focus. Turn off your phone or put it in another room and find a quiet, comfortable place to study. So tell me, have you tried any of these tips yourself? Which have worked out best for you? Do you have any others you'd like to share? Please post your comments and share your thoughts. Remember, the best way to eliminate procrastination and stay motivated when you're studying or doing anything else is to set specific goals, 
make a schedule, find a study buddy, use positive self-talk, get enough sleep, reward yourself, and avoid distractions. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to like, post a comment, share the videos, and subscribe to help spread the good word. Also, check out these videos next. This is what YouTube is specifically suggesting for you. I'll see you on my other videos soon.